going to add a lot to your game, man. Makes Skyrim like an animal. Uh, things I want to tell you that's important to me to tell you is some of the tweaks in there, and do take warning. If you don't run Sly or at least have like a GTX 580 or above, some of them don't do the uh, more detailed ones. You're going to change some stuff, um, and it's going to really bog your system down, all right? Because as you see now, we're only getting 50s at this point right now with my cards I'm now in 70s again, just to, sh to show you how much it's done to the game, graphically. All right? So it's important for me to just make sure you guys know this. I don't want to be here and something went wrong. So this, is this check? Ooh, nice. It's a bit, oh, not really here anymore. Huh? <laughs> yes? Yes. Need something? Yeah, you, baby. Anyway, let me just show you the water. It adds everything. I mean, it adds the texturing to the everything. Believe me, for you Skyrim fans, you'll you'll notice a huge difference. I just think the water quality is better. Um, I do right now. It's running the uh, high res pack. Uh, I have that going on right now. Everything is maxed out, guys. If no, nope, you know, everything's pinned. All right. I just want you to see how amazing it is. All right, look at the flowers. The detail is just staggering. You can just see it even in the the rock formations. That'll be a lot blurrier. Believe me, guys, I'm telling you, just watch the frame rate. You know, this ain't a lot of fighting right here, but it's a good scene to show you guys um, the resolution and the quality difference. Um, what I want to show you too is, is I'm, as I'm walking up, do you notice now you're not getting as much filling? Like the lead, you're like you're not, and on the normal settings I've seen where you're walking and the draw distance, even here flowers will start popping up as you're coming near them, you're not going to get that as much. Like watch, you're not going to see anything like that. Because the draw distance has been expanded tremendously, so it's graphically more taxing on your system. Alright. Now I hear a couple wolves, that's good. Show you a little action finally. Let me load this down. Where is he? She, oh, she took care of him with the arrow. Alright, so let's see if I can get some more viewing coming on here. But it's, I think it's graphically unbelievable now. I think the game is just awesome looking now. For you who thinks Skyrim isn't taxing, when you do this, do these tweaks, and you're going to notice how taxing it really is. I think it's getting a little darker. I hope the video comes across the right way. I'm going to show you some more water, the difference. All right, so that's it. Here comes the nighttime. So that's it. Um, again, I'm going to put the... Um, the website to let you know how to do this. Highly, highly recommend it. It's uh, www. Uh, www. Uh, sloppy wet below my name. Dot blog b l o g spot s p o t dot com. Um, I'm gonna put it up there, and um, you'll see it. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you guys out. Again, I highly recommend this. You guys will thank me for it if you never saw it because, yeah, look at this tree. Look at the detail in the tree now. All right, because look at that. That's what it does, man. This ambient occlusion or whatever is just unbelievable. It's everything. But you better have some good cards out there, all right? Just do the lighter tweaks on the more uh, older cards. All right, guys, and that's going to be it. I'll, I'll show you something like this with just one card running so you get an idea, too. But um, I think that's it for now. Just give you a little sky shot to end this. So it's uh, Sloppy Web Blue signing off.